Today we will be discussing on spirituality and how does it relate with science. First, we take the quantum sound Om. Om is a very sacred word in Hinduism. It has a special significance. The yogis use it, the common man uses it. Now what does Om comprise of? It comprises of a vowel and vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And the second word which comprises of Om is the Hindi syllable Ma, Na, Na. The union of these two, a vowel and Ma, Na, Na, comprises of Om. We say that when we chant Om, we have a sense of peace. The mind and the body becomes one. Now, how does it become one? Science has answered this question. When a child is hurt, the first sound a child utters is ah, ui, o. Oh. And this, a child, whether he or she is an Indian or an American, an English, an African or a Chinese, the words would be the same. And it has been seen when these sounds are uttered, a painkiller is released by the brain which helps in calming the body. In a similar process, when a child weeps, or if you see the women weep, they take the sound from the nose. It's a nasal sound. Mm, mm. See, the ma or na is uttered. Now again, the brain releases a chemical substance which calms the mind. Now, our ancient rishis, or you could say scientists, 10,000 years ago, they formulated the culmination, the combination of both these sounds, vowels and marana, and transformed them into Om. So when you say Om, the mind and body, they get calmed down and you are in a state of bliss, reaching a meditative state. So you see, if you look at the Muslims, they have the word Amin. Christians, they have Amen. The six, Ek Omkar Satnam Vaheguru. Now the combination of these two sounds, they have a calming effect, as I said earlier, on the body and mind. Same way, the other symbols, which are called the seed sacred symbols, Eng, Ring, Clean, all which are attributed to the ancient rishis, they found that that by uttering these sounds, certain vibrations are produced, which help to calm the body and mind in its various spheres and activities. So, friends, you have seen and observed how science and spirituality are intermingled. You can say, spirituality without science is blind. And science without spirituality is a lame duck. Friends, it's very important to combine these two for a better human mankind.